Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace? I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it, a plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. Looking dope. Actually, I have a... Must have a lot of these medallions, right, to hand in? Hey, where'd it go? Eivor? Swan bro, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own... No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn. And know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. It's a fine day, Eivor. What's with this music that just won't stop? <laughs> this drum. Okay, where is this guy? Will he just let me kill him already? Good lord. I have something for you. A message. Quite strange. Something for me? What is it? A letter. Requesting your presence in the southwest. A village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah... Uh. Our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassam feeding us the names of these targets. 
He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. My love. Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it, the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest, then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. Last person to kill. Let's go get him. I would have kind of hoped that that would have given more fanfare for uh, all that I'd done. You know, guess not. Okay, last one. Unfinished, unfinished business. Let's go get him. Gonna use these mastery points. Even 15s all around, boys. guy the last order of ancient no. thought you could hide from me did you nah so you actually, have, in order to actually finally yeah. get the satisfaction of killing this guy, you have to hunt hunt down all the order members. I guess it's I guess it's a little bit of work for a payoff. Does he even show up? No. I'm probably gonna get my last clue here. Poor fellow soldier. Yeah. This is Red Dead. I'd be running into the trees crashing. <laughs> crashing into trees. Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. Man, I would not just fall asleep anywhere. <laughs> I feel like I just get stabbed in the back while I'm sleeping. These are soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do, I enjoy them. 
They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We we'll leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. <laughs> Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Avo. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master. And I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. Dude, this ending. England is no My more. My head is Lord, about to blow up. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? The young man! Where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. Should I just kill him? I'm still? coming, my lady. I'm here. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study somewhere in Winchester. 
dear, oh dear. Look at them little balls of soot. Good lady, forgive me. I was lost in thought. No matter. I must know. What do you mean fast trial? Me and I oh, there is that key that couldn't. Oh, it was that door that couldn't open. I knew there was a door I couldn't open. Oh, do I have to kill him? What's with this music? It's infecting my brain right now. No. Why can't I fast travel? <laughs> I think I have to walk it. They really gotta make me walk it. Take it in, guys. This last stretch. It's all coming to the end. Go! I still think there's, there's gonna be another plot twist here or something. Yeah! Song's over. Still, no. Still cannot fast travel. Yeah. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets.
So much gold. This is it, Alfred's study. What secrets has he kept hidden away? Let's read these actually. and ravings not unlike full case delusions is there more to all this than i understand okay can i fast travel yet there we go. Let's fast travel back. Gunnar. Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good child. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I wonder if you need to get to level 6 to unlock this wedding. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dear, see you
Whenever I'm Lucas, what if it's all a heat of tea and Harriet? And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the Pradoyjo and future and heen. I just saw Tawaloch in hope, a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, Paratoivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Tiur Enoid Valdemarash, a dean as strong, a buratiki, a kval as he fears, but Kalon, and headvan to reti. Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let us head for Evangelia, Trebowid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I quisk of a Valkalon, adoration of Feed and Bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Drink! <laughs> Don't get ideas, lady. I'm not ready for that yet. Don't try to tie me down! Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Randvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. <laughs> Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. I already knew this. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more, something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. What a happy ending. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Happy ending? Just like a Disney ending? 
parents died at the beginning and everything. God. Hmm? Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. Go back into town, hand in all these medallions. What the heck's going on? Still waiting for Valka's warning. I want to see the Alliance. I have changed. Break up. I should. <sighs> kind of want to just do that for the lols once. Kidding, kidding, kidding. All right. Last thing to do, hand in these medallions. Let's see if anything happens with Bossom. Got them all, man. I got them all. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did. But they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there, and you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome. But to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this, I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here, including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. That's it. Okay. All right. There's only one thing left to do. And that is go back to Norway. So that's a, we have all the pieces of Thor's armor now. So the only thing left to do is to pull Thor's hammer. We'll get it. It is... Let me see. I hear lightning. Oh, there it is. I'll see it. I'll see it. You need to be wearing all the armor pieces to be actually be able to lift this thing. Let's get it. Uh. We got the 
Close hammer. Heal near. Alright, there's one more thing that I wanted to check out before we call it a series. Anyways, is back in that cave, there's like a glowing thing that I want to interact with. If I turned around. Dang. What's the special ability? Jeez. Has a chance to stun on every hit. Nice. Okay, I am back here. We'll see what that glowing thing was all about that I missed out on last time. That's weird. I screw back. This thing. What is this thing? It's a weapon? Oh, it's Odin's spear! Gungnir, is it you? Gungnir? Yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> Mythical spear. That's sick. That was okay. That was well worth the trip. I was worth the trip back. Okay, one second, one second, one second. Before we do that, go back to Nor go back to England. Even more reach. Okay, before we go, we gotta do this right. We gotta fully upgrade. Thor's armor. And Eivor, I bet he could never have got truly Gunnar. It was my pleasure. What have you got for me today? Is that what you want? Ah, look at how powerful it is now. So powerful. Fully upgraded, baby. I do. I'm off. Be well. Right, 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 we gotta complete the look. Gotta complete the look here. Should I put it in the other hand? Yeah. Odin spear in one hand. Thor's hammer in the other hand. Damn, looking good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think I probably have the most complete Assassin's Creed walkthrough on YouTube. It's, it's literally took us 100 hours to get through this game. Definitely the longest single player game or probably the longest series I've ever done on the channel. But it is all things good, all good things coming to an end. I'm expecting the DLC will be coming out for this game eventually so i will be covering it it was a good ride the entire way through i thoroughly enjoyed it i think it could have been a probably 30 hours shorter but it was still fun uh the entire way nonetheless thank you guys so much for especially those of you who have stuck 
through to the entire series and finishing off with this last episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, finish it off strong with a big thumbs up. And we will let's play in the next episode, right? As always, have a fantastic day.